He's only 19 and lives with his parents in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. But the FBI says Jalil Ibn Amir Aziz tried to help others travel to Syria to join ISIS, that he used 57 Twitter accounts to encourage violence against the U.S., including one message threatening to behead President Obama. And when authorities searched Aziz's home, they found what they called a tactical backpack with a knife and assault rifle magazines. High capacity magazines loaded. Obviously, the weapon wasn't found at this point. Um, but it's those type of things and the rhetoric that he's using that draws concern. Aziz's lawyer has no comment. In upstate New York, 31-year-old food store owner Mufid Elfki pleaded guilty to providing material support to ISIS. Officials say he was a recruiter. In Maryland, prosecutors say 30-year-old Mohammed El Shinawi planned a terrorist attack from only about 60 miles away from the nation's capital. They're charging El Shinawi with attempting to provide material support to ISIS. Federal authorities say he received almost $9,000 through wire transfers and remittance services like PayPal from an operative overseas. He received money from an ISIL terrorist uh, who wanted him to carry out terrorist acts in the United States. He had $8,700. What could he have done with that? Look, uh, you could probably carry out a, uh, a shooting spree, not unlike what we saw in San Bernardino or perhaps in Paris. In another case, one man was arrested and charged at the San Francisco airport just as he was about to board a plane for Turkey. In one week, a total of four cases in the U.S. of people charged or who pleaded guilty to supporting terrorists. Most of the cases are connected to ISIS, which, according to a new report, has unprecedented levels of support inside America. The connectivity that social media provides is something completely new and that accelerates the radicalization process because the intensity of being able to speak with somebody who's fighting and that person is talking to you, it's something that has uh, a lot of power. According to court documents, Mohammed El Shinawi's ISIS handler didn't specify what weapons to buy or how to conduct an attack, but did provide an example. The failed attempt to shoot up a Prophet Muhammad cartoon drawing contest in Garland, Texas, last May.